Greeting brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, peace be with you. Imagine, for a moment, standing in a desolate valley, surrounded by an expanse of dry bones, a haunting symbol of despair and hopelessness that stretches as far as the eye can see. The air is heavy with silence, broken only by the whisper of the wind, which carries with it the echoes of lost dreams and forgotten hopes. In such a stark landscape, what would it take for you to believe that life could emerge from such desolation? What kind of vision or assurance would you need to feel that renewal is possible in the face of overwhelming hopelessness? In our daily lives, how do we respond to the myriad challenges that leave us feeling spiritually dry and disconnected from our purpose and faith? How do we find the strength to rise above the feelings of despair that can envelop us? Today's readings offer us a profound invitation to delve into themes of renewal, love, and the transformative power of God's presence in our lives. In Ezekiel 37 verses 1 to 14, we are presented with the powerful and evocative vision of the Valley of Dry Bones, where God breathes life into what was once lifeless and despondent. This imagery serves as a compelling reminder that no situation is beyond the reach of divine restoration. In the Gospel of Matthew 22 verses 34 to 40, Jesus distills the essence of the law into two great commandments, to love God with all our heart, soul, and mind, and to love our neighbor as ourselves. Together, these passages challenge us to reflect deeply on our spiritual vitality, the love we extend to others, and how we can be conduits of God's grace in a world that often feels fragmented and broken. The underlying theme that resonates through both readings is a powerful call to renewal and the centrality of love in our lives. Ezekiel's vision powerfully illustrates how God can revive and restore even the most desolate of situations, while Jesus emphasizes that love is the foundation upon which all our actions should be built. Both passages serve as crucial reminders that even in our darkest moments, when we feel most defeated, there is always hope for transformation and that love, both for God and for one another, is the driving force behind that change. In our modern lives, we often encounter situations that leave us feeling akin to the dry bones in Ezekiel's vision, disconnected from our faith, overwhelmed by personal challenges, and struggling to find a sense of purpose or direction. Whether it's the weight of personal loss that feels insurmountable, the isolation brought on by mental health struggles, or the divisiveness that permeates our communities, many of us may find ourselves feeling spiritually barren. In these trying times, the call to love, as emphasized by Jesus, becomes all the more crucial. It is in our ability to love and support one another that we can begin to cultivate a sense of hope and connection. The readings provide us with a roadmap to navigate these challenges effectively. First and foremost, we must open ourselves to God's transformative power, just as the bones in Ezekiel's vision came to life through the breath of God. This opening involves a commitment to prayer, reflection, and a willingness to seek a deeper, more intimate relationship with Him. Secondly, we must actively embody love in our daily interactions with others, as Jesus commanded. This means reaching out in kindness, offering support, and being present for those who are suffering. It is through our actions that we can manifest the love of God in tangible ways. Consider the inspiring story of a community that came together in the aftermath of a tragic event, a local disaster that left many feeling hopeless and despondent. Instead of retreating into despair and isolation, the members of this community chose to support one another through acts of love and compassion. They organized vigils to honor the lost, provided meals for grieving families, and created safe spaces for healing and dialogue. Their collective response served as a testament to the life-giving power of love, reminiscent of how God breathed life into the dry bones. Through their unity and compassion, they discovered renewal and strength in the face of adversity, illustrating how love can transform despair into hope. As we take time to reflect on these powerful readings, let us ask ourselves, 
How can we be agents of renewal in our own lives and the lives of those around us? How can we embody God's love in practical and meaningful ways? Let us commit to seeking God's breath in our own valleys of dryness and to loving others with the same fervor and passion that Jesus taught us. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the precious gift of your word, which speaks directly to our hearts and invites us to experience renewal and transformation. Help us to recognize the areas in our lives where we feel dry and lifeless and breathe your spirit into us, revitalizing our hearts and souls. Grant us the courage and strength to love you wholeheartedly and to extend that love to our neighbors in need. May we become instruments of healing and hope in a world that desperately craves both. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen.